So you have a new album, a new solo career. When can you tell us about Hesitant Alien? Uh, let's see. What can I tell you about Hesitant Alien? Um, it was a record that I wasn't sure I was making at first. I was just making songs because I felt compelled to keep making music after the split. And um, it hit a point where I recorded no shows, and by then I felt like, all right, I'm making an album here, you know? Pretty awesome. And also you have a great uh, creative mind. You have wrote comics. Uh, how did you blend the writing part with the song making part right uh it, you know I'll, I'll, I've, i've come to find out all my art's very circular and i have to connect them in order for them to survive that doesn't mean they always have to be together like a comic doesn't have to go with uh, uh an album per se you know but i try to make time to do both but music is my most important thing and my real true kind of calling i guess so i i do focus on that even though i love writing comics And you have made music, you have made videos, you have made a lot of different art forms. How would what does art means for you? Art is, you know, besides my family, art is the most important thing in the world to me. You know, art art is a way that we can express ourselves to each other in a very sincere way. You know. Okay. Le estaba preguntando que ha mezclado música, ha mezclado cómics, ha mezclado videos, qué significaba el arte para él, y dice que es una parte muy importante de su vida, porque bueno, es a lo que se dedica y lo que más ha hecho. So, right now that you are performing on your own, the, how does it feel to change from being with a band and now being alone? How did you face the public? It's very, you know, it's very different. Um, you know, it's just different as all it is. Like, I noticed getting on stage the first time and it wasn't MCR, it was just me as a solo artist. Uh, you, you realize the attention is fixated on you, um, and you know you, you can't really kind of rest back. You know, um, you you can't if that's what you want to be doing in the moment, and that's the energy you want to give. But you know the attention is on you, and so you know. But it just feels different. I mean, everybody's got a different feel when you play with different musicians, and it was magical playing in MCR, and it's a different kind of magic now playing with the hormones. You know. I mean, le pregunté qué se sentía ahora en esta nueva faceta de solitario, en contraste con la faceta de banda, y dice que es muy diferente, que se tiene que reacostumbrar con nuevos músicos, nunca sabes bien qué esperar de trabajar con otras personas, que el público está más atento acerca de lo que haces, porque ya no puedes como quedarte en el trasfondo, no puedes quedarte atrás, no puedes descansar, porque ahora eres tú solo y eres el foco de atención. Uh, right now we live um, in a moment where social network is very important we are always connected to the internet how do you perceive this new way of communicating that fans can tweet you you can upload things to instagram I, as an artist i really love the way we're all connected now it, it it makes it so i can share something instantly or exactly when i want to you know there's not a lot of waiting around anymore it's it's kind of it's very nice to be connected whereas before um As an artist, you kind of put something out, and then it's just out there, you know. Um, and it takes a while to get a, a feeling back of what you know, the energy people get from it. So, you know, I, I love social media. I think it's fun, you know. If, as long as it's kept as fun, it's it's good. Bueno, le pregunté qué pensaba de toda la interacción que tenemos ahora con las redes y comenta que como un artista es muy padre porque ahora ya puedes estar en contacto directo con los fans. Te tienes que acostumbrar un poco al feedback, pero al final es muy padre y muy divertido para él. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Y continuamos con más aquí en los Premios Telehit 2014.